Hey everyone, happy Friday. Today we are getting into two big stories that are making headlines. The current housing market standoff and the latest crypto drama. Let's get into it. So mortgage rates might be dropping but the housing market isn't showing any signs of revival. Nick Gurley from Reventure app has some interesting insights. Despite the 30-year fixed mortgage rates falling to 6.20%, buyers are still hesitant. You would think that lower rates would drop buyers back in, right? Well, a recent poll on Gurley's channel shows 91% of people aren't influenced by the rate drop. Even more revealing, the University of Michigan's data shows that home buyer sentiment is at an all-time low in 2024. A whopping 87% of Americans think it's a bad time to buy a home, which is even worse than during the early 1980s when rates were through the roof. So what's going on? It's not just about the rates, it's the high prices. Buyers are feeling discouraged and a small drop in rates isn't enough to shift their perspective. Home prices are still soaring and many are priced out. The current market is a classic standoff where buyers aren't ready to meet sellers' prices and sellers aren't willing to lower theirs. Economic changes or a potential recession might be the tipping point. If unemployment rises, forced selling could push prices down. Until then, the market is in a holding pattern. Moving to the crypto world, Coinbase's new wrapped Bitcoin product CBBTC is stirring up controversy. This product aims to let users engage with Bitcoin on DeFi platforms. But Tron's Justin Sun is not impressed. He is concerned about the lack of a proof of reserve mechanism, which could mean that the Bitcoin backing CBBTC isn't securely held. Sun's criticism adds to a bigger debate about wrapped Bitcoin tokens. While these products are meant to integrate Bitcoin with networks like Ethereum, they come with risk. Sun has called CBBTC Central Bank Bitcoin, hinting at possible centralization and governmental influence. Coinbase defends its product, stressing its strong security protocols and adherence to regulatory standards. However, the debate underscores a broader issue in crypto, balancing decentralization with trust in intermediaries. Wrapped Bitcoin products bridge Bitcoin with DeFi but introduce new risk. Trust in custodians and potential centralization are key concerns. While CPBTC offers new opportunities, it also highlights ongoing tensions between decentralization and traditional financial oversight. So, whether you are watching the housing market or the latest in crypto, these stories show that both worlds are facing their own unique challenges. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Have a fantastic Friday and I'll see you in the next video.